Hello again everyone, this is Crash Conroe. We are back with TGC Tours Platinum. I am about to start round two at Oranmore Golf Links for the Highlands Challenge. So we got 14 under in round one. Not bad, definitely could have been better. We missed a couple of kind of shortish putts that I wasn't too happy with, which would have put us right at the top of that leaderboard. It's a absolutely stacked leaderboard at the top there. This course wasn't playing difficult at all in round one. It's very short, a lot of par fours short. You know, if they're not reachable, it's just a little wedge in for the second shot. So you want birdies here. So we were off the white tees in round one and we're now off the red tees. So I wonder if there's not kind of, you know, long, medium, short tees in this course. Maybe they're all just from different positions. So this will be interesting. Maybe red is longer. In two, of course. Fairway firmness is moderate now, which is a little bit nicer here. The wind's picked up. Green firmness is still firm. And the green speed is default. What is the green speed? Okay, green speed is medium here by default. So let's get into it. Round two. I'm quite happy with the first round score. So I'm just going to quickly have a look at the top of the leaderboard because as, as right now, you can see two rounds on the website. So the lead is actually at 34 under <laughs> and you need to be 30 under just for top 10. Yeah, a lot of very low scoring here, which is to be expected. So let's just see how we do. I'll take another 14 under, to be honest. Judging by the scores, this round is not playing too much more difficult. In fact, this first hole is even shorter than it was in round one. So yeah, this is it's a real shootout this week. Real shootout. And you know what? With this wind... I feel like we can hit a three wood. I mean, this is all downhill. Pins at the front. I feel like three wood might actually make it, you know. I'm gonna hit it. Good swing to start. There's no way that's making it. <laughs> there is absolutely no way. Especially when it bounces in the rough. All right, well, you know what? If we dr if we drive it, I don't know how it stops either. I'm sure someone on Platinum better than me did it, but <laughs> I, I, I couldn't. I thought a three wood would go a little bit more. All right, this is fine, though. This is a good position for a chip. Does it have a little right bounce in it? Well, it does, just not enough. So that is going to be a birdie on the first. I'll tell you what, on almost all of these holes... A birdie feels like a par. <laughs> or like a birdie does not feel like you're gaining one on the field. Because there it's just a lot of these holes are just so simple. As long as you kind of play smart and don't miss in the wrong place. Like for example, this one, if you're up here, you're not gonna you're not gonna score from here. Like the ball is not gonna stop. But the only thing about this hole is it's quite uphill. I don't think a driver can actually reach. So I'm gonna play for the kind of left hand side here. Wind is going to take it left as well. Now, as long as that doesn't bounce hard left, we're fine. Yep. Pretty much where I wanted to be. I wonder if we could have gone for that, you know, because that has still traveled a fair bit. But I feel like it just wouldn't get up here, would it? Surely it would uh, kind of stop short of that. Okay, so I think, again, this is a lob wedge pitch. The nice kind of uphill slope right after the pin, so we shouldn't lose it. And not the best of tempos, but yeah, it does slow down very quickly. Right there. Smash that one in for birdie. Two under three, two again. Yeah, I mean, all the all these players, they're going to be thinking bare minimum two under three, two, because both of those holes are pretty much reachable. I mean, people probably want three under through those, if I'm being honest. So this is the first kind of real test here, the slightly longer par four. And I'm not going to lay up, because... I mean, the wind is with me anyway. That felt slow, and it was. Okay, I'm not going to get away with that one, but... I didn't actually see the pin either. I'm not sure if the pin is against the backstop or not. Okay, that one stayed in the rough. We gained so much distance. Okay, there is... Wow, okay. We can't be too long here. That's going to be the real risk. 
We don't want to miss left and be in that rough either. It's not an easy shot. Does the 7 iron go too far is my question. We already, in round one, we massively overshot a uh, shot we had from the rough. I'm going to go 8 iron. It might be short, but at least it'll be safe. I can't see I can't see that rolling out. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I think it's going to. Don't see too much. Wow, that's got so much pace. Oh my goodness. Again we've overshot it. I was not expecting that. I guess the fairway leading up to the green must have been really downhill because that gained a lot of momentum there. Okay, so we've got a chip from the rough. I get out of here with a par at least. Not a bad chip though, is it? Oh. Okay, we almost chip in, but again on hole three, we get out with a par. Yeah, and that's the thing. I'm just not scoring on the, the actual difficult holes. Okay, this was another one. This is tough as well. All right. Is right at the front. Again, downhills, and you need a long iron here, so it's not not an easy target. I think I'm gonna like big loft, big backspin, a, a six iron. What was it for? Was it a six? Yeah. Okay, slight loft, max backspin, because I want to make sure this gets on there at the very least, you know. Swing. Go on, tell me that distance is right. Just needs to sit. It just needs to sit, and it could be really good. Go on, go to the right for me. Oh, it sits there, but it's really good. Right, we've just got to make these putts now. We do just about. It's. It's. I'm not. I'm not confident on these greens. I gotta say, more the green speed than anything. Like I know the greens are tough. I can see why they're not ramping up the green speeds, but. 129 is such an odd speed. I don't really putt, putt too much on that. Okay, hole five, par four. I think this calls for a driver again. But again, I do want to be in the fairway. But the wind is going to... Wind should slow it down. All right, there we go. Looks good. There's going to be a pitch for this one. Definitely want a birdie here. That's a clear kind of birdie hole, this one. My only question is, how much is that wind going to affect the lob wedge shot? What is that, like 12? I think I'm going to play a partial sandwich, mainly because being long isn't too bad, because it will come off the hill. Quite fast. Still going quite far left, so that's working out for me. That needs to come back now, though. Oh, it's going to. Well, go in. Go on, then. Go on, then. Oh, ho, ho. That's what we want. That is what I'm talking about. And that is exactly why I played a partial sandwich rather than a lob wedge, which could have spun back too much. What a shot there. You know what? I've just realized the music's off. <laughs> I was wondering why it was so quiet. Look at that lovely backspin into the hole. There we go. Yeah, we'll just I will just uh throw up the menu and put the put the music on at least. I don't really play with uh, John talking to me anymore, but but at least put the music on. I think that's from like when I used to stream and I just had the music off because I used to play kind of my own music. But we'll we'll turn that back on now. I don't really need that off. But all right, that's exactly what we needed. And let's keep that momentum going. So here's that short par four again. Wow, this one's even more treacherous though. Look at that. This is not an easy decision because if you, if you go past here, you, you're not going to get a, an eagle or, or a birdie even because the ball's just going to keep rolling. Not an easy layup either though, is it? Like, look at this really kind of hilly fairways. 
Okay, so if I don't quite get there, where's the, where's where's a good place to miss? I mean, missing left is fine, right? If if we kind of aim like here, I'll shake the ball a little bit. I think that'll be fine. I do want to go for it still. That looks fine. Go on, kill it. Hit the rough. Die. <laughs> All right, that's good. That's gonna come back. Gonna come back and land somewhere. Doesn't actually go too far up that hill. Maybe it shouldn't have landed in the rough like that. Probably would have been better. All right, mission accomplished though. We're on the green. And this is for back-to-back -back eagles because we just hold out. Again though, look at these grid lines. They're so, so all over the place. Really have to worm cam on this course, unfortunately. So it is definitely going to go right at the start quite a lot. And then that left leaning line is quite strong as well. Like the left line is probably the strongest. I actually think this is straight in, you know. And it more or less is three-way breaker. But it's another eagle, back to back. And we're now seven under through six. Wow. Okay, there we go. We've got the music going now. <laughs> All right, good start. And again, this one, I mean, it's not quite reachable, but I feel like, again, we could probably kind of drive it up there. I guess missing on the left in the rough is quite dangerous here because you're not going to stop on that green. But there is still a backstop, right? Like, there is a backstop by the hole, so... I feel like we can kind of hit it up there. Oh, I didn't pull that. I did not pull that at all. Is this going to go left? Okay. Oh, yeah, it definitely is. Stop, 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 stop. Don't go in there. Whoa. Okay. Wow. A platinum fairway that plays nice. Never thought I'd see the day. Okay. Right, what's the play here, I wonder? I don't want to catch too much of this. these slopes that are going to the right. You know, it might be a flop. It might be a flop with this one. Any, anywhere around here should be fine. Needs to stop though. I should have put backspin on that. Okay, it's not bad. We're gonna have to make a little read. I I definitely should have put backspin on that one though. Just to make sure it stops, but we get the putt. We are now eight under through seven. Let me have a a little look at some of these scores. I bet people scored ridiculously low. So this is a par seventy. I'm seeing a 51 near the top, so someone got 19 under. Seeing a 52, 18 under. I think that 51 is the only one. That's from Cabot, I believe. Yeah, Cabot. Obviously a really good player of the game. That's one player I used to compete with for the wins back on 2K21 in Platinum. Okay, so this par 3 again. 9-9 looks, like looks like it will be the club. The wind is going to bring it back. Quite fast. I don't think that's going to hurt me. Little short. Is it going to sit there or come off? It does come off, unfortunately. All right. Got a chance for a chip in. That looks good. We get it. Come on. That's exactly what we want. Keep this momentum going. We've made one par in this round so far. Back to back Eagles. That takes us to nine under through eight. We'll keep it going on this course. It is a shootout. You know, we need like 18 under just to put us in any sort of contention for this tournament. All right. Yeah, these tees are just straight up shorter. Sure. Like this one, we're, we're shorter on this one as well. Okay, so last time I tried to go up here, didn't I? And it hit this and just went left. That's the problem if you go for it, really. Like, it all just goes left. So I think this time I'm actually just going to kind of take my medicine and go, go, go to the left. Is this uphill? Maybe I should go three-wood just to be super safe. 
I feel like we could drive it though. I just a little bit. Except I should have aimed that more right if I was going to do that. Oh, that's even worse now. That's a terrible mistake, all things considered. Definitely should have aimed more right. This is the one place you don't want to be. Okay. Well, it's 43 up now as well. This is this is terrible. This is an awful shot. Not what we want. Hey, okay. 8 iron. Too far? 7 iron? It's just the, uh, like, the, the elevation. Surely, surely the elevation is going to kind of cancel that out, right? 32% of that. Day. Surely a 7 iron. Surely it has to be a 7 iron. I can't see an 8 making that. Come on then, get up there. Oh, wow. Get up. Oof. It's unlucky, you know. It's almost really well judged. That would have been such a good shot. Sadly, it doesn't quite have the legs and it does come off the front. So we've got another chance for a chip in. Slightly harder than the last one. Could do it, you know. Oh, the, the spin I put on it. The backspin killed it. Okay, we got we got to think about these layups a little bit more because I've messed, I've messed up a layup, you know, a couple of times now. In that situation, it, if I'm going to be in the rough, I might as well just go for it with a driver, you know? Same thing here. Th this was the other one, actually. I was in the rough. There's just no chance of stopping the ball. So, uh, you know what? This time I am actually just going to smash this with a driver. Really downhill. Should be good anyway. Alright. Well, there you go. We don't need to lay up. We'll be in the fairway anyway. Which is perfect. Now we can control control the spin on this. Hopefully get it close. This is all downhill. This is a tricky one, actually, because I don't know how much this wind is going to stop this one up. And I'm on a slope. Massive, massive slope. Okay. Oh, that's a big slow. That's not what you want. Distance was fine, you know. If we didn't hit that slow, that would have been good. But now we've got a really tricky kind of side-on part here. Downhill all the way. Doing this quite far out. Going to have the turn. And it's just turned a little bit too much. Almost got it. At least it's not got away from us. Okay. Well, so two places in round one, I think we parred, didn't we? Or did we birdie hole nine in round one? The second shot might have been okay, actually, in round one. I know we put ourselves in the rough, but we at least went for the green, so it was quite a short second shot. All right, come on. Let's get that momentum back now. Get that momentum back. Let's do it on a par four, which isn't too easy compared to a lot of them on this course. We're not having a bad round here. I'd like to keep this going. I want to. I want to beat our round four. Round four. Our round two score at this point, if I'm honest. Okay, nine nine. I think is the club We're on an uphill slope. It should slow down fairly quickly. better swing much better too short though too short all right it's going to be a tricky part didn't get the distance right there i'm quite surprised because we've been hitting so many of these long when it looks like they shouldn't be long but i guess i gave that one like i didn't need to give that one loft yeah i did give that one a bit of loft maybe that killed it That's for birdie, and it's going to be low again. It's going to be low again. So many parts we've missed low. So many. Three pars in a row. Not good. Come on, let's get back to it now. Right, partial nine, I think. Yep. 
Yes, that's going left. Did not expect that to go that far left. I think that's going to bounce out, though. Yeah. Going to slow down, though. Yes, just about. That's on an awkward hill. We have to get this one, though. We we have to get this. I mean, dude, that's a good read. That's a good read, to be honest. Okay, game's back <laughs> a little bit. Still not the best tee shot, but... Missing missing on the left is the, the right side to miss it, you know. Okay, there's that 34 under. So we're at 24 right now. We're 10 under for the round through 12. Round 1 score was 14, so we're still a little bit off that. Alright, good tee shot again. Yeah, we've, we've, st we've still got those two par 5s to come, and the tees are just straight up shorter, so... You know, I want eagles there, if I'm honest. And then the last hole as well, that's a really short par four. Like, we have to at least get, you know, five under more in this round, to be honest, for me to be happy. Considering the start we had. There's a partial sandwich. That's definitely going to be right. Fast. I put backspin on it. Is it going to come back at all? Not really, no. Like the none of the swings have been drastic, but it's just the fast, uh, slight slows and slight faster. Just ca uh, can't speak. <laughs> They're just catching us out. They're giving us difficult parts, you know. Like this could have been so easy. Have we got it though? Yes, we have. Good read. Yeah, we don't have to be right next to the pin if we're going to read it like that. That was good. It's just as well that that went in, because that was carrying a lot of pace, that one. That was very downhill. Alright, 20, 25 under, and we're 28th on that leaderboard. Can you believe? Well, I can, because this is... A, we all can, because this is platinum. <laughs> we can absolutely believe it. Alright, here's that par 5. Did eagle this one in round 1. The pin looks a little more tucked away this time. It looks like it'll be at the back. And this is the longer of the two par three, so we'll, we'll have to see. Have to see what kind of shot we have. All right, two, two, three. We're well within distance for that. As you can see, it's not easy. I don't know how we get this one to stick. Like, the further we ride the line here, the riskier it is. If the ball sits here, we're not even getting out of here with a birdie. I can say that much. Okay. Yeah, three. Into the wind. It's not bad. I think it's carrying too much pace, though. I don't think that's going to come back. No. Wow, actually could have played a four. I was hoping that uh, kind of playing it into the wind... Is that going to stay on the green? Is that the green? Oh, that's not too bad. Okay. I, I was kind of just expecting we'd have, like, a massive hill in front of us, but that didn't happen. All right. Like chance for an eagle, then. A long one. Turning right most of the way. Going to turn more right for me. Should turn at the hole. Come on. No, oh, it's just low again. Low again. Won't be too hard on myself for that one, though. That was quite a long putt. At least a birdie. 12 under. Now for a par 4. Relatively short. I think this is going to carry the bunker with that... Uh, with that tailwind. Hopefully, because I haven't pulled that at all like I'm supposed to, and I have hit it fast. Hopefully that kind of gets over there. It's going to. A little bit lucky. Right, ball's just going to sit on the right, and we have yet another pitch. Not easy again, though. There's a tiny little shelf. Tiny kind of landing target where the pin is, and again, being long, not the one. You did not want to be long here. Oh, we might be long. That needs to sit. Come back. Oh, okay. I mean, it, it could have been worse. If that's in the rough, 
we're done. But I think because it's in the fringe, we'll be able to kind of just the tiny little chip out of here and it should hopefully sit. We'll go in. Oh, what a chip in. What a chip in from that distance. I had to absolutely tap that one. There you go, good stuff. The tiniest of chips, good power. If that missed, that wasn't gonna go anywhere, I don't think, so. Yeah, good stuff. I think that's the third chip in of the round, if you include the, uh, the sandwich hole out we had earlier. And we're now T20th with two holes, three holes remaining. And again, just can't be long. <laughs> you just can't be long here. So do I hit an 8? I, I feel like an 8 might be too much. You know, it's really downhill. The wind is picking up. If I hit a 9. I mean, it might get up. It might not get up there, but if it doesn't, it's just here. And I'll have a putt from there. I'm going to hit a 9. Good swing again. Does it have the legs? Is the wind going to grab hold of this and get it up there? Well, at least sit there. Please don't come back off there. Just sit. Sit there. Okay, that's fine. Not the easiest of putts, but we're there. Okay, can we make another birdie? This is to this is to match our round one score now. Oh man, you know what? I did adjust just before I parted, but I think I actually just hit that too hard. I wasn't really going for that power that I gave it. I think we had that. I think we had the line, I just gave it a bit too much. All right, now for that other par five. So we messed up the tee shot here before. Hopefully we don't do that again. Might do. In with the wind, it's playing a little bit longer, though. We we did hit much further on this one before. In looks like it's at the front, though, and this is still quite short, so we'll see. See what we have to this one. Okay. Hmm. I'm not sure if we can use the backstop here, because I feel like... I don't think these slopes are strong enough that it would kind of get all the way down there. I don't know. This is this is a tough one. Like in some ways, it's kind of easier to hit, but in some ways, it's not. <laughs> it's like it, that's a really tough pin position. Okay. Um, I mean, three iron doesn't get there at all. I, I want to give this a go at least. No, three woods round here. All right. Quite fast. That's not too bad if it slows down. Go on, slow down for me. Go right. Oh, wow, it has slowed down. Is it getting over this hill? Stay there. Oh, my God, it stayed there. Wow. That is not bad at all. I don't expect this putt to be easy, but we're there for an eagle. And at the very least, this will be a birdie. That was the other concern, really. All right, eagle chance on 17. Can we take it? Yes, we can. Really nice putt there. Really well played hole. It's our third eagle of the round and we go to 29 under. And we should, we should get to 30 here because the last hole, as we know, is a really short par four. Maybe even another eagle. Actually, the wind is against me, so maybe not. <laughs> oh, you know what, actually? That, that pin is evil. <laughs> That pin is evil because if you're in the rough at all, I don't think you get away with that. I think that'll be a par. You can't really lay up. I mean, you can, but you're putting yourself so far away from the from the pin. I think I want to drive it. I'm going to go for a drive. Leaning left a little bit, but the wind should catch that. That should be okay. We're going to hold. Go to the right. Yeah, it rolls right there. Okay, that's fine. Okay, we still have to contend with some downhills here, though. 
Lop is, I mean, that's too short, I think. I don't know. If we play this shot, max loft, max backspin, it does sit. Like that, that will absolutely sit. If I play a chip, I'm not too sure. Like this, this could do some stuff I'm not used to. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna flop this. I, I really hope this is a good decision. <laughs> the tiniest of flops. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. It's a little bit short, but it's close enough for an easy birdie. And that is a 16 under 54 round two, guys. We're right there now. We're not far off the pace. We're four shots off. I think on that leaderboard in the game, uh, fourth place was like 31, right? So we're top 10. We're top 10. I'm playing this on Tuesday. We're top 10 on that leaderboard. And, well, we're top 10 on the TGC Tours website as well. We're team ninth on the on the leaderboard through two rounds. So that is good stuff. I would I would not expect myself to do this well in a shootout course on Platinum. So there's Cabot with a 19 under. Love Scud with 17 as well. Good stuff from them. Yeah, really good round. Huge chip in. Hole out with the sand wedge earlier. Really happy with that. But yeah, I will be back towards the end of the week to do my rounds three and four and we'll see how well we finish so uh yeah i don't want to count anything yet we have to keep this up we have to keep this up for the next two rounds if we want to get a good finish here but yeah really good that's probably the best two rounds i've had this season in platinum so i'd love to keep it going in rounds three and four so that is it for this video guys uh, remember to leave a like on the video because it helps me out a little bit and feel free to subscribe if you want to kind of keep up with what i'm doing here and I'll see you guys in round three later in the week.